Hi friends, welcome to our channel Mango Programming. My name is Adar. In this video, I will help you to communicate between one visit to another visit on the same page. Like if you get the requirement to communicate or to pass the data from one visit to another visit on the same page, then how will you do that? Let me help you. So we will create two visit, visit one and visit two. Okay. So which we have, which I have already created. So I will not the create. I will not going to create the new one. But from here, the visit editor, you can create the new visit. Okay. So from here. So let me close this. Okay. And this is the visit one and visit two. And we have the requirement something like this. Uh, I have a text box on the visit one, which let me create. Okay. So input type would be text. and uh, let's give some name as well name would be like f name or the first name right and i have a button as well on this first visit button which uh, type would be button as only okay. and uh, let's give some click event as well on click and uh, assign test a function name right and give some name like click to send right and private so this is what visit one we will see yes here here on the visit one uh, we have a text box okay uh, it's not popping up um, just me give this just let me save it okay yeah got it so this is what uh, we have a visit one on the visit one we have text box and a button as well so if I type here something like hi hello or anything okay whatever the requirement is and if I click to send I click to this button so this data whatever we have typed here it should get transferred into the visit to and on the visit to anywhere in the visit to like if you have another text box input type would be text only okay text and let's give the name as well uh, output fine and we have this input as well in the visit to so from here if I type here and uh, click to this button and thus the data that data needs to get transferred into the visit to this text box okay so let me create a page first okay and uh, drag this these two visits to that page so that we can see clear idea we can have the clear idea okay so go to the portal configuration okay in the configuration you can go to the designer page from the designer you can create the new page or existing page you can find out so here the designer page we get and from here we will get to uh, I've already created a page let's let me search this is the test page fine so I've created the test page and let me get those visits to this page like visit to one and visit to as well okay and let's run so the requirement is something like this if I type here something anything and if I click to this this high needs to get transferred into this text box so this is our visit 1 and this is our visit 2 fine and this is our one uh, single page so on the same page both the visits are there okay so as uh, it is on the client side only is going on there is no server no database interaction so we will write only the client script client side code no this as you can see this is the server side logic so we do not, do not need to write anything in the server side so we'll close this okay and same for the visit too because we are doing with dealing with the client side fine 
so we have to write the logic here in client script so before writing the logic let me uh, modify this input and button something okay so as this is a name temporary attribute from the input tag let's replace this with the angular naming convention or you can say angular directive that is ng model okay so this we can use for the data binding purpose so and if you are using anything if you want to use this to the here so we have to use this variable in the HTML box so we will type C dot anything for the button or for the input or for any tag if you are using it okay and for the button as well but here on click also we have to replace with the angular directive that is ng click service now does not deal with uh, some normal uh, HTML attribute so we will have to go with the angular so right here ng click and same for the button as well we have to pass this c dot test okay so we have to write the logic on this triggering point like okay so we have to define a function that is c dot test equals to function in Java or in other any programming language when we are defining or creating the function we used to like we have to write first keyword function and then function name but in service now there is uh, another way that is from like this way you can define a function you have to write the function name first and then equals to function keyword and then if you are passing the parameter if you need to pass the parameter we you have to pass the parameter as well and if it does not need that's fine without that is called um, uh, parameterized function or non parameters this is non parameters okay so here I have to write a logic to use this input box okay and we have to capture data from this input box so we will define this variable name c dot we will capture the data from this input tag into our variable so that is that will be c dot data dot temp name okay equals to c dot f name so we have what we did we have assigned the data from this uh, input box to this variable okay so that we can use this variable to transfer the data let me just give an alert so that we can see we are getting the proper output or not okay like let's define a variable variable test would be equals to c dot data dot temp name right and if I give an alert like this test so that we can just check that our button functionality is working or not so this is what we have write uh, written actually ng click this is c dot test if you see here and we have defined the function what is doing this button so let me show you just save it okay and after saving it will change refresh let's wait for uh, the refreshing pace okay so here you can see if I type here something and if I click here so what we're going to do this will just give an alert of test what is what is defined in the test if you see c dot data dot temp name which which is c dot f name which is here you can see the input box indirectly this box okay see uh, we, get, we got the alert okay anything if you type here okay and click you will see the data so now we have achieved this functionality on this click we are getting the data now we have to transfer this data to visit 2 to transfer the data from visit 1 to visit 2 we have to we will going to use a broadcast um, broadcast and on in the service now if you know if you are already using it so there is two keyword broadcast and on from by by using the broadcast and the on we will transferring the data from one visit to another visit broadcast used to help like to transfer the data so let me type it okay so but to use the broadcast we have to pass a parameter dollar root scope oh, sorry root scope and another parameter dollar scope right and let me remove this alert we have to type here root scope dot dollar broadcast okay and the broadcast we have to pass two parameter 
the one would be the keyword any keyword let me just give an XYZ any keyword which by uh, this keyword you can use at the time of receiving with the on method okay so I'll, I'll come to that part as well okay and we will pass this variable here with the data okay so this broadcast what is generally doing so we have to pass a key and value actually it is called key value function okay so this is a key and this is a value so we at the time of receiving we will use it okay so now let's write the logic for our visit so this is this is the logic we have written in the visit one so now what is going on with the help of broadcast the data we are getting in the test now let me receive it here okay so for receiving purpose you have to write here dollar root scope dot dollar on right and then we have to um, give the keyword which you have already defined xyz okay and then we have to give a function and here I have to pass the two parameter that is one is event and another is data okay and data before the data here I have to write the logic so we have uh, here if you see this is the value our actual value in the test right so at the time of receiving we can type any any value any matlab variable name over here instead of data you can write xyz or anything whatever you like it should not be the keyword but the same okay so any data so we can use this now that value of the test is all transferred into the data variable okay so let me use it so let's give a c dot data dot uh, abc right a variable where we got data so what we did from here uh, it is from here you can see uh, from f name it got uh, transferred into the temp name and from temp name it got transferred into the test and from the test we have broadcast this test value okay and which we have received here with the on method into uh, this data right there is something wrong in this Actually, it should show black but it is not showing let me see ah uh, because of the parameter we have we did not pass parameter here we passed in the param in visit one so we have to pass here now now if you see the root scope and on both are in black if i pass the parameter here root scope and dollar scope right then you can see now it's blue and it's black it's perfectly working fine okay and let me save it and this one as well okay so this is the only logic we have to write okay now if I have to use the C dot data dot ABC into this input box so that we can see the data transferred into this input box okay so to use it let's remove this and we will type a value okay value for the input box input we have a variable called attribute value if I write here value in this value we have to bind this variable with the angular with the help of angular directive we have to bind this and for the binding we use this this two curly braces and here if it we type c dot data dot abc what we have got here okay and if i save it now let me refresh this page and show you if i type hello see the hello gets transferred in this visit right so this is how you can communicate data or visit to two or more visits on the same page if if you get the requirement you have to transfer the data from one visit to another visit this is how you can use it this is how you can do it so two basic things you have to know 
okay from with the help of broadcast we can transfer the data and with the help of on we can receive the data in the broadcast we get uh, we have to pass two parameter one is key and the another one is value the value we are getting from here okay and in the visit to in the on method you have to pass the two parameter as well the one would be the key which you are passing from the broadcast the another would be the function in the function you have to by default type one parameter event and the second parameter would be any variable name that would be uh, that would receive the data from the broadcast value parameter fine hope you understood so this is how you can and let me just give you a scenario like see um, many time we get this in like we have this application navigator assume this is applica application navigator is one visit and this is our the second visit okay so if I click to anything like any module or any application so some data gets passed from here on the basis of that data the another visit reflect here so so and hide concept okay so that is what communication between visit one to visit two so many times you you would need to communicate between visits on the same page so this is how you can do it okay so that's it for now thank you for listening and uh, if you like the video and if you feel that there is was some knowledge please subscribe to my channel that is mango programming so that's it for now thank you thank you so much